simple enough to beat. Is that him? Need to hurry. all that noise what is that something's attacking Chi Chi not good I need to help her get back you mechanical meanies leave me alone Chi Chi watch out trunks is that you yeah what's with these robots I'm not sure they came out of nowhere and started attacking me okay leave this to me you go find a safe place to hide no, I can't leave you to fight these things! I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm a lot stronger than I look. Anything that moves. Alright. Bring it on! Training with Gohan is starting to pay off. Take that! Look, Chi Chi's okay. Chi-Chi, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Although I totally could have handled those buckets of bolts on my own. <laughs> Glad to see you're still full of energy. Yeah, I might not look like it, but I've still got some fight left in me. I am glad you shut up. Thanks, Trunks. It was no problem. What were you up to? Me? No, oh, I was just on my way back from checking on the fields. Cool. I'll escort you back to your house then, just in case any more of those robots show up. Really? Well then, escort away, Mr. Bodyguard. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, Trunks, my boy. I really appreciate you saving Chi-Chi. You know, you'd make Vegeta proud. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? No need to be so modest, Trunks. You fought just like my Gohan when he was little. Uh, really? Oh, uh, that reminds me. I heard you were out there helping Gohan fight those awful androids. You did? Not good, not good. How did he hear about that? If he knows, then my mom might find out. Uh, <laughs> well, you shouldn't believe everything you hear, you know. Oh, uh, so you're not? Well, uh, I guess that's good. Right. Those androids are way too dangerous for a kid like you to fight. I don't even like Gohan fighting them. He was going to be a world-class scholar when he got older. I know how you feel, Chi-Chi, but Gohan's made up his mind. He's our boy, and we should trust him. We just have to hope he stays safe. Gohan doesn't fight because he wants to, but because he has to. And he's still thinking and worrying about you. Uh, at least that's what I think. You're right. Anyway, if you see him, would you please tell him to keep fighting, but to try to come home, like, every once in a while? I will. Okay, 
Well, I'd better head back now. Stay safe, you two. Thanks. Give my regards to Bulma, okay? Have a safe trip back home. Thanks. Oh, uh, could you maybe not tell my mom what you heard about me helping Gohan fight the androids? <laughs> It'll just stress her out. <laughs> of course. I should let Gohan know how Chi Chi and Yox King are doing. I wonder if Gohan's where we were before. power surging through me. Should you be worried about Gohan? I need to make sure my mom doesn't find out what I'm up to. Gohan should really try to visit his family in the Trunks, I thought you went back home for the rest of the day. Actually, I was just visiting your mom and grandpa at their place. Oh, really? Why would you do that? You said you were worried, so I went and checked on them. There was a small issue, but they're okay. Small issue? Yeah, some weird machines were attacking your mom, but I took care of them. Really? 
Oh no, is my mom okay? Yeah, not a scratch on her. That's a relief. Thanks a lot, Trunks. Seriously, if you hadn't been there, there's no telling what might have happened. Um, Chi Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Oh, uh, I can't go right now, obviously, but I guess I'd better start making regular trips back to make sure she's doing okay. She'd like that. Right. Speaking of family, you'd better head back yourself before Bulma starts worrying. True. See you later. If I really want to put everyone at ease, I need to defeat the androids and bring peace back to this world. West City suffered numerous casualties today as the androids continued their rampage. Residents in nearby areas have been ordered to evacuate immediately. <sighs> um, Chi Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Mom. Just hang on a bit longer. I promise, I'll come back once the androids are gone. The next day, Trunks and Gohan continue their training with a new resolve. Right. Let's begin the training. What are we gonna do today? Another sparring match? We can, and will do that. But I think we need to focus on making you a Super Saiyan. So, let's start there. I'm sorry this isn't going well. I don't think I can become a Super Saiyan today. It's not supposed to be easy. Don't worry. We'll take our time with it. Okay. That explosion. It has to be the androids. I cannot let them destroy another town. Then let's go, Gohan. No. Trunks still can't transform into a Super Saiyan. He's not ready for this fight yet. I'll be back. You stay here. Wait, Gohan. I can go with you and help you fight. You're still not ready to take them on. Just stay here for now. But like... Any help would be better than nothing, right, Gohan? Fine, but try to keep up, okay? And don't push it if you think it's too much. Thanks. Let's go. If we don't hurry, people are gonna die. Right. Those androids are going to pay. There's only some way of knowing where they are. Hard to do that when we can't detect their energy. We're gonna have to hunt them down the hard way. That's enough, androids! How could you monsters do this? Oh, great. You guys again. What a drag. Let's get rid of them so we can keep having some fun. There are tons of other far more interesting people left to kill. I'm not gonna let you do that. Go on, let me help you fight them. Fine. You can be my support, but try not to put yourself directly in harm's way. Uh, okay. I'm more than enough to handle these losers on my own. Snappy, okay? We've got places to be. Give it a rest. Damn your hand. Slip up and we're done for. You need to be careful, Trunks. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to keep babysitting the brat. You're going to be in real trouble if you don't start taking this more seriously. If you think I'm trying, then you're in for a big surprise. Then fight us for real. We're not gonna lose. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
I guess you can fight, kinda. I've trained long and hard to avenge those you've killed. Getting a little cocky, are we? Let's keep this up. Now for the finish. <laughs> Messing with us? I'm not a little kid. I'm a warrior. My name is Trunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we hurt the little baby warrior's feelings? Don't let them rile you. We're doing it. We're winning, Gohan. Not yet. There's still a long way to go before they're done. Ah! Trunks! Hm. You thought you were winning? Give me a break. It's lights out for you guys. Well, would you look at that? At least they're good at running away. They're pretty nimble for a couple of meat bags. <sighs> Wherever you're hiding, we'll find you. So, you think we got them, 18? Yeah, they're dead. But even if they are alive, we'll find them. Come on, 17. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, sure. Several days later, though Gohan had lost an arm, he was spared the same fate as the others. After a miraculous recovery, he had regained the strength and determination needed to fight once more. Trunks, on the other hand, felt responsible for Gohan's injury and struggled to find the courage to face his mentor. Oh, you seem out of it, Trunks. Y yeah. I know you were trying to keep it a secret from me, but... I know all about your training sessions with Gohan. I'm sorry, Mom. You used to head over to Gohan's place to train, right? You haven't been there in a while. It, it's because of me that Gohan... that he... How am I supposed to face him? 
It wasn't your fault, Trunks. I know that. And more importantly, I'm sure Gohan knows that. You'll feel a lot better if you just go see him and, and tell him how you're feeling. Trust me. I guess you're right. I'll head over there now. Good. Be careful, okay? I have no idea what I'm gonna say when I see Gohan. I'm sure Gohan's feeling better and can move around and stuff, but he probably can't do much training anymore. Yeah.